Okay, what I want to have a look at here is uh, understanding the CSS of the uh, Jamrim Elastic Skin uh, and uh, some of the, the conventions that are uh, that are in there. I'll just refresh this to get back to the start um, and we'll have a look at it here. Uh, what we've got here is uh, the Elastic Skin's made up of uh, uh, of a CSS structure that allows you to uh, uh, to not have to worry about the, so much about the formatting of things. And you can see what we've got here is we've got three columns, one, two, three going down there. If we look down here in the CSS, we can see that that's comprised of a container, content, container. The container contains all of the rows. So if we added another row, uh, then we'd have another row underneath this one. But currently we're just working with this one single row here. And inside that we've got, open the row, uh, what we've got is three columns and one says col 3, column 6 and column 3 last. So we've got column 3 off to the left there, column 6 and another column 3. And these columns 3, 6, 3 add up to 12. So you've got a 12 column layout uh, inside of this row. Uh, and this is the last one which just uh, means that it has a little bit less formatting down the right hand side. If we take that last off there, the margin uh, gets checked put it back last but uh, if we change these around if we change that one column 3 to column 6 you can see we've, we've now got uh, two columns and this one which is kind of disappeared off the end there so that's not a good situation because our column numbers don't add up to 12 uh, so we change that one down to 3 then we've got 663 a column 6 columns uh, wide a column 3 columns wide and another one 3 columns wide or another one could be uh, Five four. So three fours are twelve. So we'll go four. And column and the last column. There we go. Now we've got a stable structure again. So four, four is eight, and four is twelve. So we've got a, a, a set structure there, or we could go. Uh, what have we got? Four, five, five. 2 is also 12, and we've got the structure here, so column, column, column. And if we go down the bottom there, and we take that, uh, copy that HTML, edit that row, so we've got a row here, and we add another row. So we've got that same structure down the bottom. Now that second row there can be structured differently. So that one we'll put get it back to the to the right structure. So we've got five five two there on the top in the first row, and this bottom row down here we can we maybe we'll have four four four. There we go. So we've got four 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 in the in the in the bottom row. <laughs> And in the top row, we've got 552. Five, so you can use this to, to structure your CSS. Uh, it already exists in the Elastic Skin, so just pointing it out so you understand what these col5, col5, col2 are, and what this row means. Now you can add another row uh, underneath the row, and they're all in the, in the content container. You'll see that when you're working with the templates. Uh, inside the columns, uh, you've got blocks. Block being the outside container. Here's a block. Here's a block. Here's a block, and inside that block you've got a title, and then the block content. And it's the same for these other things here. That one's just got a title, there is no content. There you go. But that's the structure of, uh, of, of what these col4, col2, col5s are uh, inside. You'll see that in, this, in the JR Elastic template, but you'll also see it in a lot of the other templates too, because it's a, it's a base structure that... Uh, uh, the skins have been built on. Uh, so the back end side of things too is also going to have those uh, those columns. We just take a quick look there. Okay, we're in the back end section here. We've got this one column coming down the side there. There we go. If we go up high enough, we can see that that one's col three and col nine. Nine on that on that side, three on that side. But it could just as easily be uh, four and eight to change the uh, the structural layout of things or 6 
and 6. There we go, we've got half and half. Makes it a bit hard to read, uh, but uh, for, for stability it's still got the 12 there inside the row, uh, so no problems, it's fine. Okay, that's the, uh, the, the uh, uh, understanding the CSS structure of Elastic. Yeah, and I forgot to point out one thing that uh, one reason why this might be uh, a good way to uh, to extend your skins is because uh, this elastic skin uh, does very well in uh, in changing its size. So if you restructure the uh, the size of the uh, of the of the window, you've still got three columns, so you don't have to uh, fix a width at like 600 pixels or 300 pixels and have it uh, scroll off the screen. You've got these uh, uh, fluid widths, so when you re uh, change the size of everything, uh, it can adjust to the screen size, which is good for tablets and, and mobile devices. And if it gets too small, uh, then it reverts to uh, the media and other CSS uh, uh, templates to allow it to, to fall into this uh, vertical structure and to have a different menu. So it's uh, it's quite a good uh, uh, skin to, to build off. And back into the admin panel. Uh, if you if you if you already want that structure in place and you're planning on on creating your own, it uh, it, it adapts quite nicely to uh, to whichever size screen you you're working in. So that's one of the advantages of taking the uh, uh, the existing elastic skin and turning that into a uh, uh, into a custom skin.